Hello guys and welcome back to another episode. We are starting this episode right here as you guys can see in the XP farm, uh, the Enderman farm, actually with a different skin on if you guys can see. Um, this is actually my FBI skin if we look in here you see I have a little earpiece on and I'm wearing a suit. This is the same suit I have I just have glasses and an earpiece. Um, but the reason for this is because Faz Pickle has told everyone not to come near his base, which not everyone knows, but I do, because I'm an FBI agent. I am meant to know where his uh, FBI headquarters are. Um, so that's like a little joke right now going on in the server, um, that he's running an FBI type of thing, and so people are trying to look for it. Um, so we might get into a bit of some of that stuff also. Um, probably we'll see a bit of that, um, like attacking people maybe, or trapping people. We have gone ready with traps and stuff like that. So that's a thing that might happen. But like I said in the last episode, we will be getting started on my base, of course. So, um, well, I need a, a conduit. Like I said, I have a conduit, but to activate it, I need to get the ocean monument blocks, and I also need sea lanterns anyway. So I am now going to uh, go raid the ocean monument. So I'm just repairing all my tools and have a trident, the fendant, to use for the whatever they're called, the guardians. Um, I also have a whole shulker box here full of potions and some buckets for milk. So I'm gonna hopefully, um, I don't exactly know where they are. I know where one is, but I wanna try to find one next to an island, so I might use a map. Um, I might get a map from a villager. Um, not that difficult. And then buy a map and find one. So we're gonna go to find the ocean monument. So I'm gonna finish repairing all my tools, find the ocean monument, and then I will get back to you guys once we are ready to raid that yummy juice. So guys, um, I'm over here. This one is on the way to Easy Eyes base. It was found already by some other people, and I decided I'm going to loot it. No one claimed it or anything. But anyway, I um, went in already, looked around, and started killing. I got some Prismarine Crystals, Prismarine Shards. Um, can you find out? Okay, um, can you should find out. I have Mining Fatigue. Place this. How do you make sea lanterns? I don't remember how you make sea lanterns. Apparently I can craft them. Five prismarine shards and five prismarine crystals is one sea lantern. So that's nice. Okay, so I need a lot of sea lanterns for my base. That's one of the reasons I'm here and also for these blocks. Prismarine and uh, the other ones. How do you make these? No, I'd rather make these. I need them for the conduit. So that's mo so one reason. And also, because why not? Get some sponges. Um, so I was, like I said, I was already down there. Um, Looking around, I've got some potions, uh, golden carrots, my trident, um, like I said. Now we're going to go back in and see what we can uh, make out of it. So guys, um, after the Osh mine, which went really well, we got all the stuff we needed. We'll get to that in a second. But anyway, um, just stopping by to show you guys this massive uh, beauty of a base. Um, this is Faz's base. It looks like all his sheep got out. But uh, his base here, it's um, a very nice base. I know the camera is surrounded by uh, by uh, black, but that's just so you guys can't exactly tell where this is. This is a hidden um, base, so it's hidden. Ooh, so it really blew up here. He died and blew up, but yeah, he's dead still. Um, anyway, so this is a cool base. Let's go downstairs where the real action happens. Boom. That did not stop our fall. I'm really hungry. I hear a zombie. Um, probably not good. But anyway, ooh, that's cool. He has the uh, the the statues coming up. It's item frames. He can make the item frames invisible if he wanted. I don't think he knows that. He has some stuff here. I'm not sure what those are. Hmm. This looks like a trap to me. Yeah. And I'm stuck myself. Oh, I'm not. Yeah, so this is really cool. We have here, uh, looks like an aquarium we can go into. Um, 
some black on the floor. Ooh, a cave. Uh, looks like he built up this cave. Ooh, can I can I take the gold? Okay, I'm taking this. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. I'm joking. Uh, yeah, that would be pretty nice if I could. I need some gold. There's some more gold here, right here. Snag all of this gold up. <laughs> I wish I could. Gold. Give me, give me gold. Anyway, this is a really cool cave. I like it. Does it go any farther? I don't think so. But this is cool. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for his base. It's not that big, not that small, but it's pretty cool. He also told me that he moved my uh, beacon. I let him borrow my beacon. It was here. He said he moved it. He was actually working on a bigger project somewhere else. Uh, so that's why it's not here. Ooh, why is there glass all over here? Weird. Hmm. So guys, I was just now looking for the place to go to the base, and boom, guess what I got? Of course I have Smite 5, it's a lot easier now, but one hit kill, right? And it's durability zero, so I'm trying to think, if it's durability zero, it's very, very rare. Like, to get something that's durability zero. So I'm thinking, should I keep it, and put it in a museum? But you guys will hear about the museum in a different episode probably in a few few more episodes but should I save it or should I sell it or should I give it to AT guys tell me in the description below I mean in the comments below anyway guys so we are right here basically next to where we're going to be building the base I'm not exactly sure where exactly of course underwater but where exactly here underwater if we go up to the surface look there's land there, and I want it to be as far away from land as possible. So I think I'm gonna fly around a bit more until I find a great spot. So guys, we're right here at a little, um, just a little temporary uh, glass shelter that I'm building up right here. Um, trap doors. <laughs> just grabbing whatever I could to make a little entrance. And it's just a little room I can extend this if I wanted. Anyway, so we found a location very dark out of the room. So we need what we brought with us the conduit. Did I place down the shulker? Well, I don't know, but it's in one of these shulkers. Here it is. I'm going to set up the conduit and everything, of course. So, guys, let's go in the traditional way. Soul fire jump. Whoa, <laughs> that didn't work.
Well guys, that is all we did so far. We finished all of uh, the bedroom section. This is the bedroom section here. Um, six bedrooms. Um, bedrooms have no windows in them, so people can't see into the bedrooms. But overall, uh, small and for people. And then we have the long hallway. It's a bit long, yes, but then we have these. These are really for air sealing, for sealing out the air. They also just look nice. I like them. Uh, I might just put them here, but I wanted to put them all over. Um, it is a bit messy here. Um, Faz dropped off uh, a phase, whatever his name is. <laughs> Faz. I'm calling him Faz from now on. Dropped off these uh, packages. It's micro blocks and I got the first netherite block in so that's 1 out of 12 and we've got 11 more blocks to get for the middle I also when I the second trident um, you guys start telling me what to do with it but I decided for now to ooh, to put <laughs> riptide on it so I can glide around underwater but that doesn't work you barely move can use it to get access to the I don't know it doesn't work basically um, like it works for the rain but it doesn't get you that high I guess it's good not to waste fireworks I don't know you can't even shoot it but I just thought that was a bit of a waste of money on my part I don't know I still need to know what to do with it um, because I don't want to really use it um, right now again comment down below what I should do with it anyway um, so this is all we're going to be doing for the base right now. Um, we're going to get back to it next episode because it's, uh, it just takes a lot of time and effort. Even though it's very simple, it just still does take time. Everything takes time. And I don't got that much time. Even if the week, the episodes are a week apart, it still is a bit difficult to, um, have time to do things because we're not Hermitcraft. We don't all have... That's not like what we're doing is playing Minecraft. We all have other stuff to do in life. Um, and school's also coming around. And there's just stuff happening. Anyway, there's some stuff I need to go do. And I'm going to go take care of them. And I also want to go check on the stores. See if we made any more money. So guys, I got to the mushroom. I'm going to go check out these stores. I did do this not that long ago. But there's been some people on when I've been offline. So maybe they delivered and I'm having a bit of lag not very much but just a bit lapis it looks like someone bought and I took out the money or you all did um, yeah it doesn't look like we made anything uh, except for what was in the lapis I'm not really doing restocking I'm really wanting uh, you all to do the restocking since he hasn't done anything else really for the store and I kind of do feel bad because it was meant to be our store and he I like I kind of didn't like did stuff because I wanted to do them but he wasn't there to help so I feel bad um, you all is back from his uh, trip if I mentioned that he was away and I was restocking his stores for him he is back from that. This is also not my store. Why do I keep looking at <laughs> my stores? This is also not. This is Blue Turb's store with security cameras. This is one of my stores. <laughs> uh, so much gunpowder. Need sand, not gunpowder. Did do a couple of orders of sand from uh, X Grail, which is currently AFK. In a lot of my videos, I only record when there's so little people online and I'm getting the feeling that people just think that the server is really inactive but it's really untrue again 10 iron blocks um, the server is really active um, but I don't usually record when it is um, if I am recording it's during it's a time lapse because I just if the server is active then I'm usually probably also active this is also not my store why am I looking <laughs> what is wrong with me I can't look at the right stores I don't have that many stores to be honest. Uh, maybe it's time to think about a new store. I, no, no, no. I, I want to talk about land in a second um, because we added some new things. Ooh, this I actually did check on, and this is AT's um, profit. I made some money from that. But whoa, lag spike. Anyway, let's go to land. I want to talk about that for a second. As you guys see, there's a new part on it. So this is land money switch. 
Um, I added it a couple of days ago. So what this is is basically a money exchange uh, thing. Uh, people can come, uh, open hours, and <laughs> and uh, switch in money. They can offer money, and we can tell them what it's worth, like iron maybe. Iron less now, because I want to just point out that me and AT built an uh, iron farm. I'll show you guys that in a couple of minutes. But uh, phantoms. Um, but anyway, so the land money switch got some money out of it before I built the iron farm, so iron might less be a thing anymore, but it'd be very expensive. But because I have so much diamonds, people can give me stuff and I'll give them to them. As let's say they get something really expensive, and I'll give them diamonds for it. The wood store probably also didn't make any money because I checked on it beforehand, and yeah, nothing. And yeah. But pretty much, most of my stores are getting money, and I feel like I'm getting a lot. And then I'm buying... The, the only thing that is wrong is that not everyone who's buying has a store. So they're not necessarily gaining, they're just losing. And I really think that if more people, more and more people, would open up stores, then there would be a full circle. Like, there's there's half a... The circle is not connecting to the other the other end of it. It's just going and going and going and not connecting because there's not a full circle. I give money to potions store, which is pretty good. Three potions is pretty good, okay? Um, this is, the prices are pretty good. But anyway, I, I give him money, then he gets money and he buys, let's say, shulker shells with that money. Then I can take the shulker shells. Okay, no, he buys with that money, he buys books from Yoel, Yoel with that money buys heads from AT, and AT with that money buys <laughs> die from me, and with that money from die, I buy, basically, there's not a complete circle, because then, let's say, some other people, like, um, Blue Chips and Store, okay, um, it's pretty nice, again, uh, he started actually selling now, uh, Chorus Fruit. So there's chorus fruit, there's endstone bricks, and there's endstone. And not all stocked up, so that's the only issue with his store. So that's why I didn't include him in the circle, because it's not really going to make money if there's no stock. He does have endstone, but... Anyway, so, Faz, he buys from me, I don't buy from him because he doesn't have a store. So then he's not gaining. So the circle's just not closed. So guys, we're right here at, uh... The iron farm. The iron farm's actually broken. At actually told me that he was working on uh, he was working on the system to bring uh, the items all the way back up to his storage system there because he has a whole this is his farming area and he actually turned the thing into obsidian twice. So let me just go and get that all fixed back up. So guys, it's fully functional now, and I'm just clearing out the roses. I don't care about, so I'm just leaving them in cleared out the entire chest and I'm gonna go do some AFK for one hour to see the actual rate of this farm uh, let me just make sure it's actually working and, and then I'll go and do the I'll go in AFK and I'll come back to you guys in one hour so guys after that AFK we've got five stacks and fifteen it was actually eleven but an iron golem just died so what that means is one farm is working basically it's not two of them aren't separate farms or separate things it's just one thing it's not separate so it's one thing is producing five stacks per an hour and it's meant to produce two of them together ten so so basically when you find out how to fix it I'm not sure how to fix it but hopefully I can find out a fix somehow Anyway, I just wanted to point out, let me just get around to the here. Um, so here I am. Five, sorry, seven villagers died. Binding, thorns, fire protection, infinity, sharpness, on breaking three, and efficiency five. They all died. Um, six of them by struck, all got struck by lightning. Apparently slabs don't stop lightning. And the binding guy got killed by the witch killing him. One of the witches. So that's really really annoying and I'm not sure what to do about that yeah so guys that is going to be 
it for me for today. Um, this was a very successful episode. We built up the farm. We also um, farm. No, we tested the rates of the farm. We built up the base, and that's pretty much all we've done this episode. But uh, it was very successful to get on, started on the base. Um, because that's a very important part. Anyway, um, I've also seen that a lot of the views on the video are going down. And it makes it hard for me. Because I make the videos for fun, of course. And when I see that I'm not getting out of the thing, like, at all, out of it. So I start to feel like, why am I doing this? Um, I do enjoy it. But if no one's actually watching, why should I put so much effort into it? But if I am getting more views, then I would put a lot more effort into the videos than I actually do. Yes, I don't put my full effort I could put into the videos. But anyway, so thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and of course share. Comment about my trident, my trident, my, my trident. Not this one, but just comment about a, the other trident. Comment because we want to be able to know what to do with it. Should I de-enchant it, put other enchantments on? Should I keep it? Should I give it to someone else? Should I throw it? Or should I use it to kill people? Or get it to be able to strike villagers with lightning? And charge creepers and then farm mob heads that you can't get from the Vanilla Tweaks data pack. Anyway guys... Again, this is going to be the end of the episode, so thank you guys so much for watching. Share, like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys next time. Peace!